Hello everyone, this is the third presentation in the series of DRDO and ISRO previous year questions with their solution. In this presentation, we will solve our two last problems that is question number four and question number five. So without wasting any time, let's move to the first question which is for this presentation. Consider the following Boolean function of four variables w x y and z are the four variables of this function f and the main terms are given summation 1 3 4 6 9 11 12 14 the function is independent of one variable independent of two variables independent of three variables and dependent on all variables so how you are going to find out the answer there are two ways to do the first thing that you if you want you can make a truth table by using this min terms and from that truth table you can find out the canonical sum of products and then reduce it by using the boolean algebra and it's a very big thing if you do all these steps it will consume lots of time and the second way is to do this problem by the k-map that we just studied in the previous lectures so let's make our k map as you can see there are four variables a 16 cell k map is required a 16 cell k map so let's make a 16 cell k map this is our 16 cell k map with variables w x y z 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 now let's fill this map 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, this is our K map. Now, let's start grouping them. If you have not practiced the K map much, you will do a mistake in this problem by grouping these two ones, then these two ones, and the remaining two ones this you will do but it is not the maximum possible grouping that you can do in this problem let's see how instead of this type of grouping I can group these four ones at the same time okay because adjacency is there in the these two cells and these two cells similarly I can group these four ones so instead of grouping these two ones and all these two ones making your four implicants I will group these four ones at a time and these four ones at a time thus the function f is let's see for this one this group the y is changing and z is 1 so z and uh, x is 0 and w is changing so x dash or in this x is 1 y is changing from 0 to 1 so we will not write it and uh, in this 2 y is changing from 0 to 1 so we will not write it and z is 0 so z complement or we can write it as x xor z the function f so you can clearly see that the function f depends upon only two variable that is your x z it is independent of y and w so the option b is correct it is independent of two variables a very simple problem appeared in the isro 2009 now let's move to our fifth problem the function f having the variables a b c d 
is equal to summation 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15 is independent of variables. This same problem. Okay, there is nothing difference between these two problems. They are the same problems. You have to make the 16 uh, 16 Where cell K map because there are four variables involved a B C D So let's make it This is done a B C D now let's fill 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 now again we have to group them and the group that i will make is th with this first four ones the first group then again the next group should be like this so we have made the group of four ones and the group of four ones again so the function f is your let me write it down 0001 1110 0001 so for the first prime implicant we can see that a is changing from 0 to 1 and b is 1 so b C is changing from 0 to 1 and D is 1 so D plus or or the second group is A D or it can be written as B or A and D so it is independent of C it is independent of C because there is no C in the final expression obtained from this 16 cell K map so B is your answer and in this way we have completed our question number 5 and we have done the practice set for this 